America. Uh, my name is Tawana Murphy. I'll tell you a little bit about myself before I go into the story. Uh, I am a radio and TV personality in Memphis, Tennessee. In fact, if you can look behind me, I am the owner of my own radio station. I'm the first black female station owner in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, I wanted to come back and piggyback off of Miss V Love's video, who is the sister of Jada Mills, in the incident that happened in Waterloo, Iowa, with my niece, LaSandra Johnson. First of all, V Love, um, you are one, one, number one, you are up for um, a lawsuit for defamation of character. And I'm going to tell you why you're up for defamation of character in a little bit. But what I wanted to say is this. I am sending my apologies first for Jada Mills family, yourself, Jada Mills family and the kids because no kid needs to be without their mom. So I'm just going to put that out there first and I am going to send my, my condolences to the family. Number two, I'm going to tell the real story and what happened. You are subject to be sued for a million dollars. Let me just put it out there for you, baby. You are subject to be sued for a million dollars because you have the story wrong. Deflamation of character is what you did. You said in your video that the fight happened in the house. Lysandra left the house, went and got a gun, came back and shot Jada Mills. False. False. That's not what happened. And just like me, I waited three weeks before I even touched the story because I had to find out all details of that story and what happened. So I had to separate me being Lysandra Johnson's auntie versus being the radio and TV personality and find out what really happened in that story and what happened to Jada Mills. So here we go. You ready? You ready? V love for the story. Let me tell you the story. This is the story. The real story. Okay. Lysandra Johnson had just got over COVID-19. Her boyfriend, Chris Christopher Harrington, drove her to Shara, Shahara Harrington's house. They sat in the car for 20 minutes. Lysandra was on the passenger side. They sat in there, uh, they sat in the car for 20 minutes. No more than two minutes later, Chris got out the car. No more than two minutes later, three cars pull up. One pulls in the back of Lysandra, one pulls on the side, and one is like cat corner. And they block Lysandra in from three ways, and she could not get out. Okay? Three young ladies jump out the car. Shahara, who is the friend of Jada Mills and this third woman, which is Gloria Bowden, jumps out the car and they jump into Lysandra Johnson's car. Lysandra Johnson asks them to get out of her car, but they refuse to get out of Lysandra Johnson's car. Shahara Harrington, who is a sister of Christopher Harrington, who is the boyfriend of Lysandra Johnson, tells Lysandra, I would beat your ass. But because I just got over surgery, I got my goon squad, Jada and Gloria, to come whoop your ass. Lysandra asked them again to get out of her car because she couldn't move. Now, this is the video. I seen the video. Hmm. Know your facts, be love, before you threw the story out there. These three women were jumping on Lysandra Johnson in the car. Lysandra was trying to get them off of them. At one point, she jumped out and run around and get in the other side because she was trying to get away. But they were attacking her. So she jumps in the other side of the car and she's trying to fight her way out. And she, at one point, she yells, I got a gun. But Jada was the one that was rushing her. The other three was pulling her hair, biting on her, kicking her. And she was trying to get out. She grabbed her gun. She tried to shoot a warning shot. But because all of the three girls were jumping on her, she shot the warning shot. But this warning shot hit Jada in the heart. She didn't mean to kill Jada. She was just trying to get three of them off of them. It's called survival mode, V-Love. She was in survival mode. Now put yourself in that predicament as if it was you blocked in always and couldn't get out. You're going to fight for your life. Just like Jada got three kids, Lysandra got four. She is a business owner. 
She is, she has a bachelor's degree. She has a master's degree. She got more money than Jada could ever have. Okay. She has money. Money ain't no problem. So she was not fighting over hair. Yes, hon, Jada got into it over some hair a while back, but she let that go. And she moved on. This fight was not Jada's fight. Jada jumped in Sahara's fight. This was Shahara's fight. It was not Jada's fight. Jada just caught the end of the stick. Jada should have not. Now, from my understanding, Jada has never been in any trouble. She has never. She grew up with my son. So she has never been in any trouble. She really wasn't a fighter. I, I do understand that. I know that about her. Because, her, she, like I said, she grew up with my son. But Shahara Harrington put her up to jumping on Lysandra. So we're going to tell the truth about this story. Now, the story is truthful. Lysandra just went to court for a bail hearing. We saw the video. And the video is just like I stated. She still couldn't get out. She had to maneuver and try because what she did was she was on the passenger side. She ran around the passenger and got in the driver's side because she was trying to get away from them. But they all jumped in her car again and was still hitting on her, fighting her, pulling her hair, biting her. They were still attacking her. Lysandra keeps a gun. She, she's licensed to carry. She keeps a gun on her. So she kept the gun on her and she told him she had a gun. Back up. She just wanted them off of her. But Jada and, 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 and Gloria Bowden, Jada Mills, Gloria Bowden, and Shahara Harrington kept jumping on Lysandra. It was a warning shot. It wasn't supposed to kill Jada. She didn't even know she hit Jada. So here's where the good part come in, V-Love. Let, let, me, let me get myself together. Here's where the good part came in. The girls took Jada into the house. That's how she got in there. They, took, they, they walked Jada in the house. And they were trying to figure out how they were going to maneuver the story. When the police came, how they was going to fix it up to make Sandra the bad guy. So the story that they tell was they were fighting in the house of Sandra left and got the gun. Lysandra never left the scene. In fact, she had to hit one car on the edge and go over two, three yards in order to get out. So Lysandra didn't mean to kill Jada. Two lives are gone here. I understand that. So somebody said, well, LaSandra's going to be in jail the rest of her life. No, she's not. In fact, LaSandra's going to be out next week. Because the video shows LaSandra was innocent. It was a self-defense. It was a stand your ground move. She was fighting for her life. Just like Jada got three kids, LaSandra got four. And number one, they too grown to be fighting. That's number one. Number two, Jada Mills let Shahara Harrington Boost her up to fight Jada. Didn't know that it was going to be her last day. Didn't know it was going to be her last fight. Now, I, I, feel, I, I, I feel sorry for the family. I pray for the family. I have condolences for the family because that's not how it's supposed to went down. Lysandra ain't even supposed to be out there fighting. Lysandra was sick. She just got over COVID-19. She was weak. She wasn't trying to fight. She was just trying to get home to her kids like anybody else. Imagine yourself, V-Love, trapped. Three, four women jumping on you. You got a gun. You want to get home to your kids. You want to live to see the next day. You went, you go, you're going to go into defense mode. Anybody will go into defense mode if they got three, four people jumping on them. So the story that you put out there that all of these thousands of people seen, it was a lie, V-Love. And you are going to be sued for it. When I get done, you won't have a YouTube you won't have nothing, and I don't want your money. I got money, but my niece is going to sue the hell out of you. Because you should have found out all the details before you jumped out there and told the story, uh, 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 destroying my niece's reputation, destroying who she is as a woman, as a mother, as a business owner. You destroyed her character. Now, for anything... Shahara Harrington, Christopher Harrington, Gloria Bowden should be charged with first degree murder, not Lysandra. They put her up to it. They, they took her inside their house and tried to figure out a story to tell the police because they knew they were wrong. They knew it. 
They knew it. All lives are lost here, V-Love. Or oh, Brittany, is that your name? Brittany, V-Love. So I'm responding to your video. I'm responding to your friend's video, whoever the other young lady was that did the video. Both of y'all will be sued for defamation of character. You got to know your facts before you throw it out there. Okay, know your facts. You never even got the whole story because they lied so quick and y'all jumped on the lie because you were hurt. I understand that. I understand you was hurt. I was hurt when I found out my niece was in jail for murder. She didn't know she killed Jada. And when she found out she killed Jada, she went and turned herself in. She thought she shot Jada in the arm. She went and she turned herself in. So this is not a get back at you, V-Love. It's not about a get back at you. It's about knowing your facts before you throw it out there and put it on YouTube. Know your story before you throw it out there. I feel sorry for the family. I feel sorry for Jada. I feel sorry for Jada's kids because I know how that feels. I know how it feels for your kids to walk to the door and every day they look at that door and, and see if Jada's going to come home and Jada's not going to walk through that door no more. I know how it feels for my nieces and nephews because they do the same thing. They go to the window and they wishing and hoping that their mama going to come home. The only difference is they get to talk to their mother on the phone and they get to go to the jailhouse and see LaSandra Johnson. And the good thing about this story is that video saved LaSandra's La life. It showed what happened in that video. LaSandra never left the scene. LaSandra tried to get on the pass on the driver's side and drive off. They all jumped in her car and they were still beating on her, biting her, pulling her hair, kicking on her. This wasn't Jada's fight. V love. This was Shahara Harrington's fight. It was not Jada's fight. Shahara put Jada up to fighting LaSandra and jumping on her. Shahara put Gloria Bolden up to jumping on LaSandra because she couldn't handle the shit herself. She couldn't fight for her damn self. So she put her girls up to it. And Jada's life is gone. Because of a bad decision she made. An influence that her friend had over her. Shahara knows that LaSandra Johnson carries a, a, a concealed weapon that she's licensed to carry. She know that. She knows LaSandra have her gun on her at all times. After all, she's the sister of LaSandra's boyfriend, Christopher Harrington. She know how LaSandra roll. So if you ask me, Shahara Harrington set her up. Not only did she set her up, she set Gloria Bolton up. So when this whole thing comes out in the open, because we just had a hearing and, and, and the video clearly shows what I'm telling you. It don't show what you just said, V love and whoever the, the other young lady is that did a video. It shows nothing about what you said. And what you said is going to get you sued for defamation of character. Now, you can come back at me, yeah, but you have a video out there, a, a live video, and, and it's been shared thousands of times. So you can't backtrack it. You can't take it down because they have shared it. I have it in my inbox. A lot of other people have taken it and re-recorded the video. So that when we do take it to court or when LaSandra Johnson sues you for defamation of character and when she sues whoever the other young lady is that said this was over some hair. No, ma'am. No, ma'ams. It was not over hair. It was simply over peer pressure. Jada Mills and Gloria Bowden was peer pressured into this fight with LaSandra Johnson by Shahara Harrington. So let's tell the story right. Let me just tell the story right. Okay? That's how the story went. went. Because if the story was not true, LaSandra wouldn't be walking out of there next week. The story is true. LaSandra's not a killer. She, she's not a criminal. 
She had one speeding ticket out of all of her life. She no killer. That's not her stilo. That's not her mo. Now maybe her auntie mo because her auntie always in some. Because I, I I'm I go hard for mine, so it don't matter with me. But her, Lasandra Johnson is not a criminal. She is not a murderer. It was simply a warning shot that went wrong. And all Lysandra wanted to do was get home to her family. That's all she wanted. And she had to protect herself. That is called stand your ground. She stood her ground. That's the stand your ground law in, in Waterloo, Iowa. Here, it's def it, where I am is self-defense. She protected herself. So for all is said and all is heard, Lysandra didn't mean to kill Jada Mills. In fact, she cried and she cried and she cried when she found out that Jada Mills was dead. She cried so hard. She cried for five days straight because she didn't try to kill her. She just wanted them off of her. She just wanted to get home to her kids at the end of the day. Now this video will be released to me next week. And when the video is released to me next week, V-Love, I am going to show you the video. We seen it in the court hearing day for yesterday. So when I get the video and they give me access to show the video, I am going to show you that video. And you're going to look so bad. And everybody that follow up behind you going to look so bad. My niece protected herself. So I'm not just speaking as her MT. I'm speaking as the TV radio personality. I mean no harm and disrespect to any of y'all. I want what y'all want. You want justice for Jada. I want Lysandra to be released. She protected herself. But I do want Shahara Harrington and Gloria Bowden to be arrested for first degree murder. Jada could have still been alive if they wasn't plotting on what story they was going to tell before police got there. They were plotting on what story they're going to tell while Jada was laying there bleeding to death. They were trying to figure out how they was going to cahoots their stories together. Jada could have lived. Let's be honest. She could have lived. Shahara and Gloria Bolton. Shahara Harrington and Gloria Bolton. They hesitated. And they didn't call right away. Now, from what the story says, the police said they was only a block away. Couldn't have been. Because if they was a block away, Jada would have been on the ground. They would have gotten her outside of the house. They went inside of the house. Jada was inside of the house. In the inside of the house, they were plotting on what they were going to tell the police. And they were going to stick to their stories. They allowed Jada to die. I want justice for Jada myself. But I want my niece out of jail. She could have lived. Only if they would have called the police immediately. The story says he was a block away. He couldn't have been a block away because Jada died. He couldn't have been a block away. They were, they were, they were, they were, they were, uh, they were conjuring up what they wanted to say when the police arrived. They were trying to make the story up. So I pray, V love for you and your family. I do. I feel sorry for the babies because they don't have a mom anymore. And I pray that they heal from this. It's going to be a long ride for them. It's going to be a long ride for my nieces and nephews as well. But I'm going to say this, V-Love. Know your story before you post it. Because defamation's a bitch. Now, I am Tawana Murphy. And I am signing off. Now, I don't do name calling. I don't call folk out their name. Well, I used to back in the day. <laughs> but... Right now, it is called professionalism. And sometimes we got to grow from being petty to being professional. 
So I'm going from petty for <laughs> to, to being professional. There's no read to call, no name call it. There's no need for that. The truth is all I'm looking for. And the truth is what I got. Because I investigated it. I didn't jump right out there when my niece, when I heard my niece was in jail for murder. I didn't jump right out there. It took me three and a half weeks to pick this story up. And you know why, be love? Because it's called investigating. It's called knowing your facts before you jump out there because you can be sued for defamation of character. Just like you're going to be sued for defamation of character. And I told my niece to ask for a million dollar lawsuit. I told her not to be lenient on you. Know why? I told her, V Love, not to be lenient on you. Bethany, if that's your name. Because you should have investigated. With all of your followers and listeners on, on, on YouTube, because I'm not a YouTuber. I could care less about YouTube. I'm not a YouTuber. Um, but all of your followers, you are considered a, 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 a journalist. You're considered a journalist. So when you're considered a journalist, you got to have facts. Straight facts. And you shouldn't have jumped out there if you didn't know facts. You lied and... And you tore down the character of my niece. And the story that Shahara and Gloria told you, they lied. So my thing is this, V-Love, let's get justice together. I'm fighting on my end. And I did ask for Shahara Harrington and Gloria Bowden to be charged with first degree murder. I did ask that I am talking to LaSandra's um, lawyer. And I did ask. For them to be charged. Because she should have been alive. They were too busy trying to conjure up a story. To tell the police on LaSandra. LaSandra never left the scene. She left the scene after she shot. And she had to go through two yards. In order to get out. They had her blocked in. She hit the edge of somebody's car. Because she had to go through two yards to get out. Now I didn't. Uh, the, now hitting the car quite. I couldn't quite see, see, see. But I could see all of the action in there. Because we were in court. But I could see the action that was in that video. But I couldn't see it close up. Now, when she go back to court in February for child trial, we will see the whole thing close up in our face. You'll be able to see it close up. But what we seen from the video that was presented to us in LaSandra's hearing, bond hearing, two days ago, LaSandra is clearly innocent. LaSandra never left the scene. The fight did not happen in the house. And she didn't leave to go get a gun and come back and shoot Jada. And it wasn't over no hair. It was simply because Shahara Harrington decided to be a punk, a bitch. And she used her goon squad to get beastie because she had surgery. And now Jada's life is gone. Because Shahara wasn't woman enough to do it her damn self because she has surgery. Now I want justice for my niece. I also want justice for Jada Mills. And I won't. Shahara Harrington locked up for first degree murder and I want Gloria Bowden locked up for first degree murder and I want Christopher Harrington who is the boyfriend of LaSandra Johnson locked up for murder that's what I want and that's what I'm going to get in the meantime in between time she gonna sue you for defamation of character that's it that's all now I am done with this video and I hope V-Love get a chance to see it. And V-Love, if you want to call me, you can Facebook me, call me, we can talk. Woman to woman, we can talk. But I want justice for both other ladies. I'm not just singling out my niece. I want her out of jail, which well, she'll be out next week. Because the video cleared her. But she still have to go to trial because in any first degree murder case, you still got to go through the channels. And you got to hear the testimonies. But that, them testimonies don't line up with that video, baby. It don't. It don't. I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for the family. I pray for you and this family because nobody deserves this. Nobody. Nobody deserves it. But to be dogged out, walk through the mud from the story that y'all have that's not even true, my niece deserves justice for that too. She deserves to be compensated for the mess y'all put out there. Now, I'm done with the story. You guys have an amazing day. Thank you. And I don't know how to use YouTube good enough yet, but when I do, <laughs> I'll get it. 
Thank you. Have a good day.